Hmm. Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! You lost them for wow? What is that? Oh. Wow. So weird. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. But at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. <laughs> Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Far Lands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. My fault. Should have seen that coming. Doesn't seem as scary as I imagined it. Huh? A little fear is healthy sometimes, Jesse. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. Yeah. Wait, are those lapis blocks? I've never seen lapis blocks. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if the rest of our group was with us. Come on. Hmm, yeah. I should have picked the other option. Regardless of what option you pick, Ivor will still be split up from you. But I think the cutscene looked better. Is this a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I sense that entering this so-called maze would be a grave mistake. Because some part of you still knows Ivor. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or I don't know. Yeah, There's I don't no like way mazes. We're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. I've made a lot of good decisions. Excluding uh, getting the cake, or trying to, should I should have grabbed the cake opposed to the um, uh, look at the cauldron. I, I forgot that's what happens. Better care of this place. Gravel. Glad I wasn't standing here when this fell. Probably climb these. Everyone on guard. There's too oh, many. That's a lot of them. them all. I remember this. This is where I first died. Cause I didn't know what I was supposed to do, and I just that. Guys, caught in the vines. <laughs> Zombies can't climb vines, so I'm safe. So long as I don't fall. Well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Hi. But now what do we do? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope. I don't get lost in there. Nah, this is pretty simple. There we go. That's holding LT. I guess it's RT. I can only imagine how, how much hell it would be if we went into the maze, but then again, I'm pretty sure the zombies just come out and, and you have to climb. And they're down there now. Uh, yep, you can kind of, yeah, they're there. I don't know how the hell they managed to get to the ground level while I'm up here. I first met Ruben near a waterfall like this. Hope the little guy's okay. Hmm. 
It'll be fine. Bats. Now, I kind of know where the... Uh, zombies. I kind of know where the end of the maze is. It's just... I don't really know how to get there. But I'm pretty sure it's simple. And I'm kind of good at mazes. So we'll figure it out. What is this? I think it's safe to say the far lands are strange. You could do that anywhere, though. Game! Oh, back. Gotta go this way. Hey, a house. Hey, that must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. It looks nice. Oh, shit. Also, I just realized these blocks are not, um, I was thinking that they were, um, that one block that they use in the fortress. I just realized these are stone slabs. A spider. So much interesting things. Am I going to get killed by a spider if I go its way? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've done this. Well, I guess not. Oh. I see, Spider, I knew you were coming for me. I can kind of remember things that'll happen. Get out of here, Spider. Shoot! You have got to be kidding me. Why would you sheath it? It's broken. Might as well just throw it away. Well, we still have a bow, but only three arrows. Though I don't we should only have one arrow. And, uh... Well, this isn't good. Maybe this way? At this rate, we'll be back to where they were in the beginning. Lava. Oh. Olivia! <laughs> Hi! You found me! Bye. Well, now we're out of ammo and uh, our sword's broken. That stone sword lasted us a while. Lasted us pretty much the entire game. I'm saying this like this is like Minecraft itself and it wasn't scripted. I'm pretty sure witches have a lot more health than that. Oh wait, no, it's not that they have a lot more health. They just keep they drink regeneration potions. Wait, can I see myself through the lava? Okay, good. I cannot. You're not supposed to see your anything through lava. It's a good thing there's this convenient little path so we can jump down. I don't see a way across. There's this thing. Huh, redstone blocks, some pistons. 
Wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <laughs> I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Am I glad to see you guys? Us too. I thought Reuben and I would be lost in here forever. <laughs> this maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. Well, we've got to push on to Ivor's lab somehow. Too bad there's a gaping bottomless pit in the way. Yeah, it is bottomless. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. She could have fixed this thing right up. Come on, you'll figure it out. You know you always do. <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look. Well, that worked. She seems upset. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right. I just can't hack it. So prove her wrong. Show the world what you're made of. Prove her wrong? Jesse, she was the greatest redstone engineer ever. She was in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right. Just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. All I ever see Magnus do is argue, and we both know what happened to Eligard. The Order can't do this. How are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? We're nobody. All I know is the world is depending on us. And maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, <laughs> they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? The Ender Dragon's and not that hard to fight. I don't managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, for starters, we're the ones who brought them back together again. You and I found Eligard together. We both played a role with Soren. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I yep. think so. A redstone block and a sticky piston and go put it in the place. Looks like Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Yeah, just what we needed. Though I'm pretty sure we need more than a slime ball to make a sticky piston. Or I could be wrong. I don't remember the. I don't know the recipe. Maybe it's just a piston and a slime ball. The sooner the better. Oh, I guess it is. And a redstone block. Just just nine redstone on all nine spots. Hey, a redstone block. I remember when redstone blocks came out. They are very useful. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Uh, okay. I probably should have placed that last because redstone blocks are kind of ignitions. Holy 
Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. And that I'm wouldn't really work. Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. <laughs> It must be this way. Run! Hey, they're here. Hey, over here! Quick, onto the barge. Oh. I don't see how that really worked. Jesse. Okay, zombies aren't that stupid. Everyone okay? They wouldn't walk off the edge. For a moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the Nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> Soren, are you afraid of flying? <laughs> but the the man's mad. He's wither crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I might. Be. <laughs> I liked you better when you had amnesia. Uh. Well, that was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. Bedrock. Managed to build a bedrock around his house. Must mean the host gave him creative mode privileges. Or at least a moderator. That lapis should not be glowing like that. None of that should. So many books. We should be careful. This place could be booby trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. Well, an enchanting book probably wouldn't be How on the bookshelf. Your slime. The various uses of mushroom stew? Potionology, volume 24? None oh, of these that's are nice. enchanting books. A brief history of cubism. Crafting for noobs, revised. <laughs> A collector's guide to precious gems. None of these seem to be enchanting books either. Yeah, these books have nice titles. Olivia, any luck? Not really. Ivor has too many books, and there's too few of us looking. How did we end up all split up like this? I feel like we're spreading ourselves too thin. I miss how things used to be. That first night we all spent together... Look, we might be spread thin, but we're all still a team. That's how teams work. Hey, you almost said teamwork. See, we're still funny. We can still get things done. I guess being split up just means we can be in more places at once, right? Kinda like the wither storm. Let's just forget that metaphor. <laughs> uh, let's keep moving. Ah, books. How I what titles to we got stop now? Worrying and love mining. The unabridged redstone encyclopedia. Zombies and pigs and intimate memoir. I think I'm in the wrong part of the house. <laughs> oh my god. Find anything yet? Huh, in this mess? Uh, it's as though Ivor learned nothing from my lectures on organizational methodology. If only he hadn't gotten lost in that confounded swamp. He could just tell us where the book is. Coming here was his idea. He should be here for it. We don't need Ivor. We can find this book on our own. Ha! <laughs> In this mess? Are you mad? There's neither rhyme nor reason to how these books are stored. Finding anything here is impossible. Tedious, maybe. Impossible? No way. Fine, I will continue this monotonous search. But I reserve my right to grumble about it. <laughs> it's a deal. Uh, let's... Lots of stuff. Hello, Reuben. Reuben, what are you doing? <coughs> yeah, well, you're gonna get yourself cooked. 
I've told you before, stay away from lava. Uh, I would stay this close to lava. Probably feels warm. A hole. Redstone. Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Too bad I don't have one. Yeah. No lever, no functioning circuit. Well, that's not true. We can have a redstone torch as well, or a redstone block, or anything really to power it. This Ivor character. I'm recalling that he knew something about potions. Could one of these stop the wither monsters? I'm remembering correctly, am I not? We actually already tried that. I assume it was unsuccessful. Ivor's potions just aren't strong enough to undo this mess he created. Oh, I see. Potion of blindness. Potion of dullness. Potion of nausea. None of these will help me. Those are all potions of swiftness. Am I going to be all right? Or is this just who I am now? Always struggling to remember what I was. Of course you'll be okay. You're Gabriel the warrior. Thank you, Jesse. Your confidence in me is stronger than any potion. Except perhaps a potion of confidence. I wonder if he has one of those. <laughs> those don't exist. How was that noise? Hmm, wonder what's in there. Uh, if it's a stick, we'll be good. Wood planks, those will be useful. Those are sticks, not wooden planks. Oh, and now they're wooden planks. Great. First, I'll need some sticks. Damn, this game just, like, loves to hold your hand. Anyone who's actually played Minecraft would know what to do. Okay, got the sticks. Okay, one stick and a cobblestone. There we go. Good old fashioned lever. Lots of pots. Like it was made for it, which it was. Let's see what this sucker does. Hmm, well ain't that nice. A secret passageway. Hmm. Why would you build a secret passage in a house that nobody ever visits? More like why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. Oh, that ain't good. What the? Are you guys okay? Well, that's fantastic. We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. The lever would just launch the more lava back. There. We'll head down and see what we can find. Or just craft a pickaxe, or break the blocks. Nobody ever wants to use Minecraft logic, they just want to use real logic. Whoa! What is all this? Ha! Huh, incredible! He's gathered them all in one place! I don't think you can put torches on, uh, what? fences. Exactly. Or at least like that. The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Uh, the stories I could tell about these dusty old... I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there? Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. Yep. Iron doors only open with, uh, some redstone. So why does Ivor have the treasures of the Order of the Stone? Did he steal them? No, 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 no. We we let him keep them when we split up. You let him keep your treasures? Frankly, Jesse, it's a long story. 
Well, if you say so. No way. Is that what I think it is? Soren, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Huh. Alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool, rare item? We might need it to unlock that door. Mm, very well. Just be careful with it. See? Um... You can't pick up an ender dragon egg unless you have a piston. I think those are gas tears. These gas tears, they're super hard to get. Not really. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Just gotta borrow this. Gas tears aren't that hard to get. Oh, a sea lantern. Am I crazy, or is oh, this shit. a sea lantern? Ah! The very same one the Order built all those years ago. We were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? I don't know if you can craft sea lanterns, so I'm pretty sure they're part of the sea the um, ocean temples. Packed ice. I've only ever heard of this stuff. Packed ice is not that hard to get. You can easily craft it, and that's what I have one of my houses built out of. So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the Ice Plains Spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery! Shit, these I didn't hit Y. Crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Elagard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. Aha! A hopper! Why is Ibor hiding a hopper in his basement? I don't know, but I hope you guys were paying attention to all that. Huh. Five slots. Hope you guys are paying attention to all that. You have to put the treasures in the order that the, they were got, that they got them in. So... Gas tears. Let's try them here. Gas tear goes in the first one. Um... Prismarine goes in the Prismarine second. Prismarine crystals. Into the hopper. Um, sea lantern goes in the third. A sea lantern. In you go. Packed ice goes in the fourth Packed one. Ice. Let's. And the it. Ender Dragon egg in the fifth one. Aha! Yes. I actually pay attention. But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. Everything I needed was in your stories. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender Crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. Looks like a banner about TNT. Alright. No, another story you have to listen to. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. 
Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> he was a big part of our team, after all. He knows his days in the Order were his finest. And these are supposed to be the Ender Crystals? Scale models of them. They were the secret to the dragon's demise. The secret, huh? Maybe you should tell me the whole story. Ah, <sighs> if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shotgun of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. <laughs> We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. It was absolutely amazing. They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. I wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. It will. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Uh, you hit this button first. Hmm, interesting. And I believe this button. Then this button. And this button. Aha! Uh -huh. That's There's one door. Another door? Yep. No way you'd be able to get up there in the actual Minecraft game, but this isn't Minecraft. Soren said he rode on the dragon's back. Hmm. Hey, Reuben, give me a boost, will ya? <laughs> Good thing Reuben can speak English. And it's a good thing we can understand him too. Not speak English, understand English. Aha! Bravo! And that's door number two. You did it! I can't tell you there how long it took me to get through this one part when I first played through. the ender crystals like the real ones no it, it can't be not here not after all this time but that's impossible ivor couldn't have these in a basement in the far lands right soren he kept them here the fool actually kept them he looked me in the eye and swore he was going to dispose of them soren what is all this what in the world is going on here Jesse, this isn't... this isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's, it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. So what really happened, Soren, if you didn't destroy the Ender Crystals? I, I can't. We swore never to speak of it. I think it's time to start talking. I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. <laughs> you did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it wasn't... Exactly, like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. In fact, we didn't even fight it. So what did you do to it? We didn't do anything. We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? 
Well, that's technically killing it. So. Understand. When I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. So, I concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated a dragon. And the rest is history. All I can say is, I was a fool. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor, how long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. <laughs> you didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts, doesn't it? But Ivor... Is this why you left the Order? Because Soren lied? Because they all did. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard, they agreed to keep this a secret. How can neither of us? And you, you agreed to stay quiet too, in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on his own. So this whole thing, the wither you unleashed, it's all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson! To show you who the Order really are! Liars, cowards! And now, they know! Well, it worked. You know the truth. And if we don't deal with that wither storm that you created, Ivor, none of it will matter. Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? <laughs> I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. For a moment, I nearly forgot. Which brings us back to why we're here. We need to destroy that command block. Like now! Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. Never thought I'd actually have to use it. This thing better work, because if it doesn't... You don't need to say it. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor? I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well... It doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see what Ivor's got in here. Well. Let's see. There's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamond score! Diamonds. That's a lot of... We got a bunch of pistons and redstone... So I can craft whatever I want, huh? Anything at all. I mean, like you, what majority of people do is they craft a diamond sword, which is what I'm gonna do as well. But you can craft pretty much any diamond tool you want, like a pickaxe, a hoe, or an axe. But I'm going with the sword. Never owned a diamond weapon. Just wait till you enchant it. 
Uh, you don't use. Oh wait, yeah, you do use anvils to Let's enchant see what weapons. This book is made of. You put the weapon on one side, and the enchantment book on the other. Behold, my enchanted diamond sword. <laughs> yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the order. They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT. Any preference? I have eight different sets to choose from. And believe me, they're all excellent. You won't go wrong, whatever you choose. Eh, the Air Force is flying by. This is a hard choice, because I kind of want the new armor. But then Eligard's armor. Well, I'm gonna feel like an asshole for this, but. All right, let me take a look at him. It's all quite durable and sturdy. They yeah. won't stop damage, but they'll help. Hmm. Some of these were even worn in battle. I like this one. This one reminds me a lot of the Judgment set. The Adamantine Impervium! Even harder to damage than it is to pronounce! Let's look at all of them. Might as well. I call this the Star Shield! No object in the universe can penetrate it. Ah, oh, Dragon's Bay. Even the Ender Dragon would have fled from this in terror. I call this one the Shield of Infinity. In no small part because it's infinitely cool. This is Swordbreaker. All but the strongest of weapons would shatter against it. Jesus Christ. I call this one the Ender Defender. Very strong against an Enderman's attack. That's the Redstone Riot, engineered to be virtually indestructible. This armor all looks pretty cool. This one is named Golden Goliath, as bright and powerful as the sun itself. Well, we're picking this one, and I've already explained why. All right, this is the set. Yes, a fine choice. Now go ahead and put it on. You can take some for your friends as well. Sounds good to me. Wow, cool armor, Jesse. Thanks. And there's plenty to go around. Now let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. Makes me wish I could choose what armor that they get to wear, but nope.